All right, it's time for our haul from the duty-free trip, portion of our trip, I should say. We flew to Cancun, Mexico recently. From the ATL. From the Atlanta airport. And yes. so we're going to go through here. I think the first part of this video is from the uh, Mexico side, and then the Atlanta side is on the second part of this video. So when you start off, I'll start off by saying it wasn't the greatest haul we've ever had in Duty Free. No, it that. certainly wasn't. But I will say when you're heading to Mexico, if you do need something, you probably need to stop here for some bourbon because most of the time you're not going to find some great bourbon in Mexico. No. Uh, and they're not known for their bourbon. <laughs> we went to Excellence Supply in Maharis and they had Jack Daniels, Jim Beam, and then you could get Woodford Reserve if mm -hmm. you went up to the upgraded um, area, but it was a long way from the pool. And so yes, so we were glad night. that we stopped here and got some um, good little stashes. All right, so we start out here. The best thing on this shot right here is the Maker's 101, um, which is actually a delicious bourbon um, and priced fairly, I think, at $53. We bought one of those, um, and we took that with us, and we tanked it on day two or three. I don't remember. Yeah. Maker's Mark 101 is a good bourbon. Uh, yes, it we is. think everything Maker's Mark puts out is really good. Yes, but, but that, that's very tasty. And um, hits just right. Yeah, it does. And if you're looking for a higher proof maker's mark, that's really the only choice. So unfortunately, have. they have some of that Jim Beam honey there and no interest on that. Long Branch, uh, not bad. I think that was $30. And if you buy two, you, you get 20% off, which really isn't that great of a deal. But Long Branch is good. Uh, uh, it's, it, a, it's a wild it's turkey fine. expression. It is great for what your options were at the duty free. <laughs> Long Branch is, is a good bourbon. That probably would have drank better in the pool than the double oak that we got. Oh, yes. Probably we not. probably should have gotten that instead. Yeah, that is true. Have done that. Of course, Wild Turkey 101, which is a staple yes. of any smart bourbon enthusiast. Yes, um, that's I a good believe one. these were $24. Those mm -hmm. bottles were. Um, I think we got one. Moving across, again, not a lot. Now, these Jack Daniels 100s, a lot of people like that. Now, we really? don't necessarily like Jack Daniels very much. I mean, I have on my Kentucky bourbon drinking shirt, so. If it's not I'm, made in Kentucky, Courtney literally does not care and won't drink it. You know it's true. true. There you is know. some truth to that, but we. Like When's the last time you drank a non Kentucky bourbon? I we have, like Blue I've Note. Had, I like Blue Note. I like um, Starlight. Um, Which is from when Indiana. was the last Indiana. time you drank it? Willingly. Maybe a couple weeks ago. I don't know. It's pretty good. I'll take it. Now, I'm not a Jack Daniels fan at all. I like the Jack Daniels Fire. I genuinely do. It tastes like um, Fireball. Well, okay. it's kind of good. I haven't had the apple one though. Forty-five for a, a Woodford Reserve. There's a, a competitive price. It's not an but incredible I mean, it's price. a bigger bottle, so yeah. And then a double oak. Double oak, for which seventy is a little high. We got that though. We got two bottles of that. We didn't got we? two double oaks. Probably a, should have done a long branch instead of the double oak. Yeah. So do you Looking happen back. to know how they package this on the plane? Yes. Yes, we do. Uh, they just so the way it wrap works. it up with paper, and they put it in a bag, they staple the bag, and then you pick it up at the gate on your way onto the plane. Yeah, you do not walk out of the duty-free store with the liquor. They send it to, they, they scan your passport and your boarding pass, and then they give it to you at the gate. Yeah. So that was the first time when we went and they did that was very uh, surprising to us. Yeah. I was like, are they really going to bring this to me? <laughs> How is that going to happen? I don't trust you to get to my gate, but they, yeah. always, they always get there. Yeah, so that, that is cool. Um, I do like that. And because it's also noting these are often liter bottles, so they're, they're bigger. Yes. Like right here, this Woodford Reserve, that's a big daddy Woodford Reserve for 45 yeah. bucks, which is a competitive price. That is the reason price. we did not get that bottle is because they have that uh, at the resort. Yeah. Uh, at, at our bar upstairs, so there was really no point to that. And I'm not willingly going to buy um, rye unless I am making a cocktail. Yes, 45 bucks for that big rye. That's a competitive price for sure. And I don't know that I've had Woodford rye before. I don't yeah. know that I have, but um, I mean, I'm willing to try it in a cocktail. In a I'll cocktail. Make it, I'll make an old-fashioned with it, but I'm not going to drink that neat. And then there's the uh, Jack Daniels uh, 100 at 38, which is a competitive price. That's usually a little Bottle bit more than bond. that. Bottle and bond. Yeah. Um, okay. There's people who like this and, and would champion that and say that's a good bottle for the price. Okay. Again, Jack Daniels to me is very banana-y, and it's watered down usually. Didn't we have a Jack Daniels? We did no. not buy one, no. We, we had, when we drank them dry of Jim Beam, they had to give us Jack Daniels oh, for a day. Right. That's yeah. right. That's right. And the single barrel select, did I get a price on that? I did not. Dang, I should have picked that up. You know, guys, I, I just kind of blow off Jack Daniels. 
And I know the I know Jack Daniels has fans out there. Oh look, I got my finger in the shot again. Great, Jay. You're doing so good. Uh, some just regular Jim Beam stuff, and you're back, back to Long, Long Branch, Branch at forty. Again. See, I think that's a fair price. That forty dollars for that. Now the Wild Turkey one hundred and one and the Makers one hundred and one. Those are good. Both of those are very good. One hundred percent. I mean, twenty six dollars for a liter. That's a great. Yeah. That's a great price. And we tanked Definitely. one of them. That was good. Oh, Pocket Watch coming in saying nothing like an old fashioned at the Pendennis, Pendennis Club. Club. Wow. You are correct. The home of the old fashioned is the Pendennis Club in Louisville, Kentucky. And her dad was a member. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. yes. There's the Brothers Bond, forty-one fifty for that. And uh, a cuz got one of those. We did not have an opportunity to drink that while we, we were there. We couldn't quite finish it because that was the eighth bottle, I believe. Cuz. Uh, Brought that home, so we're going to have an opportunity to drink that later. But, I believe uh, we bought eight bottles total, and we had six. Is that correct? No, we drank seven. We drank seven? I think we had nine. We, we had brought, nine? You and I brought a, a Buffalo Trace home, and they brought the Brothers Bond home. So That was a lot. Seven bottles in seven days is a lot, though. It was a lot. Uh, there's the Buffalo Trace right there at 22 bucks, which is a remarkably Some good price. people would be absolutely nuts over that. They so that's why very, we got two bottles up. of it, for sure. And Buffalo Trace is a good bourbon. It's a good bourbon, it is, and it is good bourbon for the pool. Yes. It's a good bourbon for the pool. Drink easy, good summertime bourbon. Absolutely. And there's the Jack Daniels Sinatra Select that Cuz picked okay, up. Okay, so we did get Jack Daniels. I do remember this now. Yeah, 155 for that, and we tanked that. I think Cuz kind of led the charge on that the first day. I believe that was on the first day, mm -hmm. maybe the second day. And I had a few pours of that, and it was good. It was good. Uh, the push on that one good. is... It was a little, um, it was it was a, a heavy hander, though. It was a little heavy. Yeah, it was a little heavy hander. Uh, I read up on this today. One of the things on that is they put those in barrels that have grooved. They're grooved inside the barrel, and they think that that's going to get more exposure. Oh, interesting. To okay. the oak, and so I think it's going to change the taste a little bit. Now, Cuz said it was pretty damn good. It was good. It was a little heavy for the pool at 95 degrees, maybe. Okay. But it was tasty. Yeah, it, w it was tasty. So, and that was like first day, I believe. Like yeah. first full day. Uh, was... I looked this up. Uh, that's a competitive price. It's usually more like 170 ish So a fine price and, and a fine bourbon. And it looks like some other Jack Daniels. We got that 100 uh, bottled and bond again. I can't believe that and honey I got my is $33. So there, that's our haul from uh, Duty Free. Not not amazing. Uh, we had not a amazing. Pool. We had we had better options, I believe, last year, the year before, maybe, maybe prior prior to COVID. I don't I don't recall. But no, we last had, year we had better options. Yeah. Is that right? So anyway, I don't remember. that was our haul from Duty Free, both in Atlanta and also in Cancun. So I just thought you guys uh, who are not flying internationally would like to see uh, the options you have if you're flying internationally and see what they have in there because at yes. times. You hear about Blantons like, being out there, and you're like, oh. Yeah, and sometimes they will have Blantons, but that um, we have seen Blantons in Mexico, uh, Punicana before. Yes, for a lot of money. It was. It was like 175 on yeah. the other side. But once again, you are in the Dominican Republic, and um, if you want that, that's the place you could get it, I guess. All right. Thank you for watching our haul video. Thank you.